Well, Coach Arian started his press conference by saying, you know what? It's easy to recognize shooting stars. And guess what? We have that guy right here, the brand new defensive coordinator of the Arizona Cardinals, James Betru, also said your heart was pounding with excitement. Is it still pounding a little bit? It's it's started to slow down, I'll be honest, <laughs> since, uh, since the first press conference. What's yeah, most exciting down. about this opportunity? What gives you that energy you speak of? Well, first and foremost, I get to work with great people on the defensive staff. Tom Pratt, Brenton Buckner, Nick Rapone, Kevin Ross, Mike Chico, the addition of Bob Sanders. When, you, when you're in a room and you spend as much time as we're going to spend together and as we do through the course of the season, you get a chance to work with great people. That, that's huge. And, and the core group of veteran players we have here will make this special. Bet you, I was talking to uh, Clayus Campbell a little bit earlier today, and, and I asked you the question about your age, and people kind of wonder about your age. You're turning 37, apparently. 37 in May. Well, that's that's young to the rest of us here. But <laughs> uh, Clayus was saying that basically for a player, the age doesn't really matter as much as the football mind. If the guy has shown that he knows his football – that the, the players aren't going to really pay attention to the rest of that stuff. And they've been around you for a couple of years, and he said, we know that Betch knows his football. Do you, do you kind of feel that vibe? Do you kind of under, feel like you've got that connection with the players already, regardless of the rest of this? I do. You know, when things started to come out, I got hit with some texts and some calls from some of our core guys here, and uh, they were excited about it. I'm excited about it. And I think guys, the players, one thing they look for is consistency. They look for you to be honest with them. I look for you to know your job just like you expect them to know their job. And anytime you go in the room, you don't treat it like like it's something light. It's an important deal when you walk in a room with the guys because we're talking about something important. We're talking about the goals that we want to achieve. What we do on a daily basis dictates whether we achieve those goals. So as a coach walking in, into a room, whether you're the position coach or whether you're the coordinator, your T's got to be crossed, your I's got to be dotted, and you got to be ready to go. And you have no problem being honest, even a 10-year guy with Pro Bowls on his resume. You know, I, I think that's how you build real relationships with guys. I think guys respect that. When you tell them and talk to them about things that they can do to improve their game on a daily basis, when you talk to them about things that we can do to improve defensively, I think something that's going to help us, whether it's versus a particular opponent, whether it's just an overall scheme thing that we're talking about, I think guys look at that, and, and that's important to them. Speaking of important to them, another thing that's come up is the continuity. Um, you know, we've all been talking about Todd possibly getting a head coaching job for months now, it seems like. Even before the season started, it seemed like that was a possibility. Uh, so I think mentally everybody was kind of there. Um, but the idea that you were already on the staff, that while I'm sure there's going to be tweaks – there is a uh, consistency that's going to remain even though you lose your defensive coordinator and have a new one, I think makes a big deal to everybody. And I would, I would assume that would include you guys as coaches? Absolutely. You know, I, I don't think w you know, anyone wants to come in and wholesale change anything. And, and I've said this in a couple of the other interviews I was doing earlier. This is a cardinal way. This is a cardinal defense. And um, I'm just really blessed that Michael Bidwell and the Bidwell family, Steve Kime and Coach Arians, believe in me enough to get this job done. and But I think part of looking at um, hiring me for this job was that I know that this is a cardinal defense, and I know this is a cardinal way, and Coach Arians talks about the cardinal way a lot, and we're going to continue to do things the cardinal way with the same expectations from coach to coach, from player to coach, from player to player, player to coach, all those different levels of accountability that exist when you're talking about um, getting it done defensively. Um, I, I think that's an important part of it. You 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 came along with uh, Bruce when he came from Indianapolis last year or two years ago. At what point did this get in your head? Not that Todd was going to be gone this soon and this might happen this quickly, but that if there was an opening, that maybe he thought of you in this way. Is this like a, a new kind of thing, or did you kind of have an idea when he brought you from Indy, or? You know what, I, to be honest, I think what you try to do as a position coach is put your head down, do your job, coach your guys as hard as you can coach them, get them to perform at the highest level they can perform at, do everything you can within your role. And as you do that, you're always on the side trying to grow yourself as a coach and prepare yourself for a chance to be a coordinator, someday a chance to be a head coach, whatever those things are that right. are next from that role you're in. Right. Whether you're a defensive assistant trying to be a position coach, whatever those roles are, 
And I, that's the mentality I've taken. I, I was really lucky early on in, in my coaching career. I worked for a guy by the name of Kevin Donnelly at the University of St. Francis, and Coach Dees won a ton of games. Um, and I was sitting in his office with another man by the name of Al Harris, and we're talking about this is my very first job before our very first spring ball, right? So I'm trying to figure things out, so to speak. <laughs> and um, he said, you know, James, this will never be about your years of experience in this profession. It'll be about what you do within those years, the experiences you have in those years. And I haven't taken, I, I don't think I've taken that lightly. I've been really lucky along the way to work with a tremendous list of guys who are phenomenal coaches and men. And when you, when you have a chance to work with good coaches and good men, you, you just be quiet and listen and learn when it's time to listen and learn. And you grow and help yourself get better. Then you couple that and bring that into the situation I'm currently in with the, with the strong coaching staff that we have here on defense, and um, it makes the situation right. So to earn this opportunity from Bruce Arians to be defensive coordinator, what did you have to prove? What did you have to demonstrate over the last two or three years to him? Well, I would think, uh, you know, I, you know, honestly, as it went along, I didn't think of it that way. I didn't think I got to prove something to coach. I just got to come in and do my job the best I can do my job. And um, I think that's what Coach looked for, someone that has his head down, working hard, sees that you have command of the room, sees that guys respect you, the feel from the player, you know, what do players say about you as a coach. Those things are huge and important because that's, you know, that's your resume, how your players perform every week. That's your resume, how they perform on a daily basis. You know, we talk about that in our room, in our outside linebacker room, talked about our accountability to each other. I have, an, I have just as much accountability to one of my guys in my room as they have to each other and they have to me. That works on all those levels. And I think you know, that's something probably Coach looked at and you know, hopefully saw in me. As we kind of wrap this up here, you, you mentioned how excited you were uh, to, yeah. to get going here. You, you've done, obviously you haven't done the, the off-season stuff as the coordinator, but you've been through a lot of this stuff. Is there a part of you that like, is anxious to – at some get to the game sooner than maybe normal because you want to kind of see how the rubber meets the road or are you looking forward to the whole process of this as we build towards next season we have to take it one day at a time i, I think you have to respect coach aaron says this and it's as well put as anything it's respect the process you know today's wednesday right okay, today's <laughs> wednesday so you know what i'm saying yeah, it's, yeah. things are going crazy right yeah. now yeah. it's wednesday and, and what are we doing on wednesday we're, we're in there watching cut-ups watching cover one cut-ups and talking through as a defensive staff what are we doing this afternoon we're working on personnel what are we doing tomorrow morning we're working talking about a different coverage and a different different scheme that we'll use in the afternoon we're doing personnel and it's that day-to-day -day process you have to respect it because if you don't all of a sudden it passes you up and you, didn't, and you didn't get done what you needed to get right. done during those days. All right, so you're going to set goals. You're going to set objectives. Let's fast forward a year from now, right? What do you hope, what should we be saying about James Betcher, Arizona Cardinals defense in 2016, about 2015? Well, I hope when they put on the tape of our guys, they saw our guys fly around. We play fast. We play hard. We play with passion. We do our fans proud. And um, we wear the uniform the right way. Right. Perfect. There Thanks for go. coming, James. Thank you. We appreciate Very it. Very much. Yeah. As one guy texted me, he's young, but he's good. And that was Lorenzo Alexander, by the <laughs> way. So there you go. James Betcher.